Welcome to part three of the baby trap series, the final part. My tale of an attempted baby trap. If it's ever happened to you, I'd like to hear yours. Hey everyone, welcome back to Child Free for Life. Don't forget to subscribe to be a for lifer. Not me, but someone I know is a baby trapper. In college, he got his girlfriend pregnant with twins. Luckily, her parents offered her a car if she would have an abortion and move back in with them many, many states away. She took them up on their offer. Got married right after college, cheated on his first wife with exotic dancers after draining their bank account. Divorced, pretty sure his first wife had a secret abortion, but I am not 100%. Got another woman pregnant who decided to keep it, has first child. Cheats on her, while she was a fiance at the time, with a 19 year old girl. Gets her pregnant at 20, he was 35 at this point. Has his second child, cheats on her, marries her anyways. Cheats on her again and they are divorced in less than six months. Those are just the women I know of. Pretty sure he tries to get everyone pregnant that he's intimate with. He's a narcissist like that. Ugh, your story reminds me of something similar that happened to my friend. Same infertile BS and she decided on natural birth control, cycle tracking, pull out. Don't come for me, I told her not to. And of course, she got pregnant. Dude was living off of government stipends in his parents' house playing video games and she had her own house, but according to them, she wasn't good enough for him and should have been grateful. I'm so proud of her for getting out of that situation. She deserves so much better. After heart to heart, I asked her if that's what she wanted for her life and she got the abortion, left him and got an implant. I knew a girl in high school who was told she could not have children. Turns out the doctor was wrong and she got knocked up in 10th grade because she didn't bother using birth control. Oops. A relative of mine was told the exact same thing, then had a surprise at 42. Thankfully, they were overjoyed and baby had no problems given the advanced maternal age. Doctors make mistakes. The miracle pregnancies happen. I would be skeptical of any claim of natural infertility that hasn't been vigorously tested. As a woman, I wouldn't trust this claim from a guy unless I personally view his swimmer's count results. But I'm not victim blaming OP. She was quite young at the time. Related story, but he wasn't purposely trying to trap her. He's just stupid. My sister, 20 at the time, started dating a divorced 26 year old. He said one of the reasons he and his ex separated was because they wanted to have kids but couldn't because he was infertile. Six months later, my sister found out she was five months pregnant. She believed him so deeply that even though all the signs of the pregnancy were there, she missed them. She has two previous abortions in high school, so it wasn't her first pregnancy. When she told him she was preggers, they were already engaged. She asked about his infertility. He said he never actually got tested, but his ex didn't get pregnant the year they tried and he was in the military, so he assumed he couldn't have kids. Moral of the story, don't believe what a guy or girl says about down there. Ask to see the papers. My sister was told by her second ex-husband that he was sterile. She then got pregnant with her third kid, first two from her first marriage. I don't know her stance on abortion, I also don't want to ask, but she decided to keep him. I have a feeling part of her was just like, this is kind of a miracle, I already have two, and this was my first boy, so what the heck? I want to clarify that this one wasn't really lying that I know of, and this really was a big deal for him. Also, this guy, despite being told his then wife's body would be completely ruined and almost irreversibly damaged, threw a fit about her wanting to get her tubes tied because what if something happens to his baby and then he has to have a replacement? It was at that moment I lost all respect for him as a person. My sister, who doesn't have a spine in most relationships, didn't get her tubes tied then and just opted for birth control. She's also still waiting in child support from this lazy frick who can't hold a job. Sorry, that last paragraph was kind of a rant. OP, this man was 10 years older than you and trying to be with you? That is a huge red flag right there. I'm so sorry you went through all of this, OP. I hope you're in a much better, healthier situation now. Thank you for this. More than a few men are in the comments mad about my saying that a 30 year old man being with a 20 year old girl is a red flag. It just is, and I don't care who doesn't like it. Now that I'm 30, I couldn't even enjoy hanging out with a 20 year old, much less try and have a romantic relationship with one. One glaring reason is that 20 year old me wasn't wise enough to question a grown man telling me he was infertile. 
At my age now, I wouldn't even consider believing that without proof. The mind just isn't fully formed at that age. Let me tell you something from the time I was 15 till now. I've seen a few guys who are well into their late 20s go after you, get females who are 19 or 20 years old, and in one case, the female was 24 years old and the guy was 35 years old. The reason why it raises such a red flag with me is because I know for a fact, 90% of the time, the intentions of pursuing someone that young aren't pure. Men that age tend to go after women that age because the woman is old enough to be considered a legal adult, but don't quite have the life experience to really think about what it is that they are really saying yes to. And the guy tends to think that they can mold them into the woman they want them to be. They take advantage of their naivete. That's why as the years go on, a vast majority of these women end up so unhappy and hating who they're with because they realize later on just how naive they were and that they were truly taken advantage of in their naive state. It's so true, the older you get, the wiser you get. A 20-year-old mind is not the same as a 26 or 27-year-old mind. And believe you me when I say this, men who are older, 29, 30 and older, know this. That's why they try to snatch them when they are young. It is truly a barf bag situation. I'm so blessed and fortunate that I had a mother who looked out for me and that no one could try and take advantage of me when I was in that naive state. But when I was, I'm glad I had someone who had my back and protected me. I wish all young females had that. Anyway, sorry for ranting. I hope you're safe, healthy, and in a much better, healthy relationship. My ex, we were together for 11 years, kept trying to claim he was infertile. When I think back on it, I'm pretty certain I'm the one that is infertile, but I digress. He would get weirdly frantic whenever he was about to try something stupid. Try to take on a new career? We need to get married immediately. Try to move to another city? Let's try that marriage thing again. When I suspected he was cheating on me, he kept trying to get me pregnant. He didn't say it, but he kept pushing this agenda that he'd been tested and that he was infertile. Let's frick like rabbits. It never happened. I caught him cheating and he ran away. Guess who got his next girlfriend pregnant the first month they were dating? Yup, my ex. Somehow, my body decided it wanted nothing to do with having his kids. Lucky for me. My first girlfriend, 16 at the time, when I was 17, said early on, she later wants to be a stay-at-home mom. Me, a dumb 17-year-old ready-to-rumble teenager, didn't think much about it. Later was, at least for me, something in 10 years. Shortly after her 18th birthday, she acted suspicious. Meanwhile, my child-free view grew heavily. It began with one forgotten pill. No problem, rest of the month, protection. Then she changed the brand of her pill and took them in the morning, where I didn't see it anymore. She also began to announce her safe days, which was in reality the other way around. I sat her down and she admitted that if an accident happened, she would keep it. But she was stopped for now to get herself pregnant. This was the moment all my ready to rumble left. I sleep with her one more time after party, but I didn't finish. Three months later, she was one month pregnant. She and her parents celebrate while telling me. I was completely shocked. It felt like hours, but in reality, it wasn't even 10 months. I said, it's not from me. There is no way I'm the father and I want a paternity test. Her parents were angry at me, but only in the first moments until they realized what that would mean. She started crying that she's sorry. Then I left. As far as I know, she never got the baby. Maybe she was never pregnant. I'm in contact with her next BF, now ex, because nearly the same thing happens to him. She wants a baby, it doesn't work, he gets tested, and the result is he is 100% sterile. But he doesn't want to tell her for a while. They try, and suddenly, she thinks she's pregnant. He gets himself tested again and again, 100% sterile. She then left him for a guy she already slept with. End of story, she is now with the guy she cheated with, but still no baby, but a dog. Some idiot at work told me I should baby trap my husband as he will be less likely to leave me and the government would give me lots of money for being a single mom if he did leave. I'm not in the US, obviously. I think that's what she did to her own boyfriend and her brother had it done to him. I explained, but I didn't really need to, 
that me and my husband are child free as he doesn't want to be an old dad and I respect his wishes. And I've struggled with mental health my whole life and would be a terrible mother. Not to mention impending climate collapse. What a terrible reason to bring a baby into the world. As some calculated career move? 